I've got my hands on a very posh box today from Bang and Olufsen, the high-end Danish audio giants. Now they've gone into partnership with Samsung again to bring us a phone. Now the first output of that partnership was the Serene phone, known for its good looks, but also known for being very feature light and also being very finger unfriendly. So now they've brought us the Serenata, a grand's worth of music technology and telephonics come together. And this is what it looks like an upside down iPod or a Star Trek communicator. It's got a touch wheel, just like the iPod. And it's also got a little stand at the back, so you can sit on your desk just so. Now the touch wheel is going to be your first port of call for interfacing with the phone, going to all your favourite functions or your menus, that kind of thing. And it also has touch screen, not entirely touch screen, just certain points on the screen. This one will take you to music, uh, the music program on it is really, really good, just like iTunes, and it's even got its own version of Coverflow, which is a really nice way of browsing all your music on there. It's also got places for your podcasts and your audiobooks, because it does have HSDPA browsing speeds, so you can download. As for tracks, if you want to listen to something, you just raise the speaker on the back and give it a whirl. Of course, if you do own a B&O product, it is compulsory that you listen to avant-garde freestyle jazz. Now, the rest of the phone, I think, kind of sucks. The basic functions, like making a phone call, are just really difficult to do. Look how you make one. Press it in the middle, and an old-school dial comes up. Then you slowly go to each number, and it takes ages. What also takes ages is writing a text message. Even with predictive text on, you still have to circle to each individual letter to make up the word and you're just going to die of old age before you finish your text message. Uh, it would have been so much easier to, I don't know, make a slide out keyboard or a touch screen keyboard, anything but that. Um, I think kind of Samsung have dropped the ball on that one. However, it is a really, really quirky phone and the music quality is just the best you can get out there. And if you're going to spend a grand on the phone, you probably are going to want something a little bit different. And the one thing you can say about the Serenata is it's really, really different.